Right now, let's bring in Carlos Gutierrez, the former Commerce Secretary and currently Chairman of the Albright Stonebridge Group. And uh, Mr. Secretary, thank you for being here today. Pleasure. Thank you. We hear uh, President Trump talking about maintaining a hard line, but at the same time, he's been signaling to the markets not to worry that uh, things are looking good. It looks like there's progress being made. Which, which is the right story? Well, I, I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, on the dates and on March 1, because the presidents are going to meet in mid-March, mid-March or late March is, is my understanding, uh, I could see that we'll punt a few weeks down the road. There will not be a deal or no one will close a deal other than President Trump. Um, so it'll be high drama three weeks into March. Uh, and the good news could be that the tariffs won't escalate. And we'll just give ourselves another three or four weeks and see what happens in that high drama meeting with President Xi. So that's one very viable scenario. Uh, and I think the good news about that is that it will not be escalation. And I, I believe the markets will like that. Hardliners, in, in terms of wanting to maintain a hard line with China, seem to have been getting a little more nervous about what this deal is going to look like. What, what do you think a potential deal? Yeah, it's, like? uh, you know, I could see a deal where <clears throat> China agrees to some major purchases. Uh, the soybean purchase was sort of a down payment. Uh, and, and they keep things timed very well so they don't give things up too early. So, uh, you know, a major agreement with a big number over the next five years, 10 years of purchases. Uh, the tough part will be on the technology structural side. And I think there's a deal to be had there if we if we maintain it at the right level you know we're talking about things like china should give up its five-year central planning they're not going to do that right but i think there's a deal to be had in an, an agreement on technology transfer on data localization potentially uh, i would have to be an agreement in principle it would have to be a conceptual agreement then the the challenge will be enforcement and I know that Lighthizer is very concerned about that. So there will be an enforcement mechanism in the agreement, whether it's a snap back to the tariffs, if we take off the tariffs, or the president may want to keep his leverage and keep the tariffs on um, until he sees that it is actually being enforced. Uh, but it's that second part uh, that is going to be tough. And, and I think we should, you know, not try to change a five-year plan, not try to change their whole model, but yes, try to change their policy. And there's a big difference there. Um, but I think there's a deal to be had. A deal to be had, as you mentioned, enforcing it's going to be the difficult thing. Are, are we talking right. about an enforcement mechanism that takes place over six months, over two years, over five years? Uh, uh, <laughs> my sense is that it will be an enforcement mechanism that it would be at least during the time that President Trump is in office. Uh, because he will not want to, he'll, he won't want to give that up and he won't want to give the leverage up. So uh, that enforcement mechanism could be a cloud hanging over this. And the question is, what is the leverage? Do we give up the tariffs and the leverages that will, you know, they'll, they'll come back unless they abide to it or keep the 10% uh, tariffs? And that's right, something so that, you know, I think will probably be decided in, uh, in, in mid March. The, the, uh, President Xi will most likely hold something back if they're going to meet in mid-March or late March, you know, a couple of goodies mm -hmm. that he could introduce, uh, give the president a win. Uh, but definitely the only person who's going to close this deal is President Trump. Uh, he will not be able to do so until mid-March. So I, I do th b believe that a, a viable scenario is just punt a few weeks down the road and have this high drama meeting uh, with Xi and President Trump. And hopefully uh, there could be signs of a deal there. Uh, but again, the, the pushback will be on enforcement. The pushback will be on the language used in the agreement. 
And I think that's where considerable debate is taking place right now. I mean, it's kind of funny if you think about it. The pushback is going to be on enforcement, whether we can actually enforce what you're saying you're going to do, whether you will actually do this or we're just going to be talking and saying we'll do something further down the road. Maybe that's the big question is uh, for China, that's the true. long game has always been the game trying to say, yes, we will do something later and later and later down the road, hoping to run out the clock, right? That's the big challenge. That is always the big challenge. And, you know, how the president addresses that, that that's why I think he wants to keep something over their head, some kind of leverage without an escalation, which I think would be good news. So you're talking about whether it's a carrot or stick approach. Carrot meaning, yes, we'll take this off and we'll go. Stick approach meaning we're not taking this off until we see the actual results. Exactly. And I think a little bit of both. You know, President Xi's a great friend. He's a great leader. But uh, we've, got to, uh, we, we've got to get uh, hard. So I think on one hand, the soft approach is the personal relationship, uh, the charm offensive. Uh, and then the hard line approach is the tariffs and the agreement and what we what we demand from that agreement. You, you don't think that this is something that is going to be ultimately resolved for quite a while, though, that these trade tensions. Will, yeah, I, will stay you know, here. yeah, I, I think that uh, if we reach an agreement in the short term, it will be somewhat symbolic, uh, big purchases. So there'll be a big number that the president can throw out and hopefully we'll see that in the trade deficit. But the part that is unknown is these conceptual matters, uh, data localization, uh, forced data transfer. What, what China says is not happening. So the, the language will have to, to be uh, We promise uh, carefully... to stop doing what we say we're not doing. Uh, right. So it'll be uh, in the future that uh, none of this will happen. But I don't think you'll see language that says China will stop uh, uh, demanding technology transfer because at this point there isn't an agreement that they're doing it. So those are the little things that will have to be uh, fine-tuned. But if, if there is an agreement to be had, if people really want an agreement, I think there's something to be done on big purchases, uh, conceptual language for the future, and then the enforcement mechanism, I believe, is what keeps the pressure on. And that could well be just keep the 10% tariffs on uh, until the president believes that they've actually changed.